Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from Jazzle Dazzle Craft.co.uk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And today, I think I'm filming number 45 in my 100 days of simple stamping. So I'm back to chasing my tail. I recorded a few and then I caught up with myself. So I'm Hoping to get two or three done today, but this um, this is just in my head. I'm not I've not practiced. I don't practice many of these things, but I've got a three stamp set. So I've got I've not even stamped this set yet. More wishes, and it's like it's got like Christmas wishes, Merry New Year, Love You, and it's got two fonts for, and all the same words. It's quite good. It's got a good ampersand and a exclamation mark. But it actually matches with Biggest Witch, no Biggest Wish, <laughs> from the annual catalogue. So in Scotland, we do write Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in our cards, but tend to be verbally, we would say Happy Christmas. And you know, if you're just sending a Christmas card, you're more likely to say Happy Christmas than Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's pedantics, I know, but hey. So anyway, I've decided to do that, use the Christmas from here and the happy from here. Now I've, so I have blocked, put on blocks, the block letter happy and from this one, the sort of um, joined up writing, how <laughs> cursive that's the word, <laughs> um, Christmas. So I'll pop them out the side because I know they're causing glare and then I've come thought it might be nice to add some little Christmas symbols. So I've taken out this bow sort of, yeah, fir branch herb and the berries. I haven't at the moment pulled the holly leaves out, but I might. But I've used them a few times, but I just thought. So I've cut, I've got traditional gar Christmas colours here. So I've got cherry cobbler and garden green, two quite strong colours because I had a garden green card blank lying about and I had some scrap cherry cobbler so I've cut a layer with the cherry, cherry cobbler and a layer of basic white to go on that and then I've got a layer of basic white for inside. Now, if I wasn't doing simple stamping I would probably have used my Stamparatus which is um, was stamping up positional stampings too but I'm going to do this freehand so I'm not going to go for straight so I'm thinking I'm going to do lots of happies so it's going to be happy 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 Christmas <laughs> so I've got garden green which I'll do the happies I think and then I've got the cherry cobbler for the Christmas and then we'll just pop some of the Christmas motifs that I had there in. If you're watching this, it must have worked. As I say, I haven't practiced. So I'm going to deliberately go squint because So I don't know whether to do happy Christmas, happy Christmas, happy Christmas or happy, happy, happy Christmas. I'm just going to go happy, 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 I think. If you see the pattern started, even though you're trying not to do a pattern, you end up doing a pattern. So just go with it, Janice. Happy, happy, happy. that's all and then just decorate it a little and we'll just stick with the two colours so we'll just bring in I love this pine branch and we'll 
I'll just put a tiny bit up there. I don't even know if I want the berries in now or not. That's cool, isn't it? I like it. Oh, we'll pop some berries in amongst the branches, shall we? Oh, I think I need a little bit more. Just see something in that corner. And I've just stuck my finger in the ink. You can't... Oh, so she's just put it in the red. Well, Janice. Who was shouting at me when I did that? <laughs> it actually gives a quite a holographic look to it. I'm not going to do it all over again. It's like it's a handmade card. It's going to have errors. It's actually quite interesting, but I'm not going to try and attempt it all round. But it is a different effect that you get, and you you might like it. Right now, I'm deliberately using the cherry cobbler. Just going to pop. I'll just leave it at that. So now I want to kind of, there's a bit of me wants to trim that down further, which you could do, but I'm just going to leave it there. I think you can cope with it. Certainly not filming it all over again, just for a little mistake. It's just giving you a slightly different look, <laughs> but I wouldn't be able to get it the same all the way around, so we'll just... We'll leave it alone. Which glue will work today? I've got about three bottles here. We'll see what one. In fact, there's four on my desk, I can see. So a nice easy card if you don't make an error. <laughs> but whatever other Christmas motifs you have in your stamp sets, Small ones that would just fit in. Let's see, she's done it again. Oh, well, we need more. Green in there. We'll need to make that bow a little bit bigger. This is kind of sometimes how designs evolve. <laughs> now this won't take it away, but it will distract from it. Let's try and finish this card. So inside, I really should have made my business name something to do with messy or inky fingers or something. Okay, so I am going to do the happy in the green. I'm going to stamp off first a bit, I think. I'm going to ink it up, stamp it on my grid paper, stamp it on there. I'm going to close the green so I don't make that mistake. 
And then in full strength, I'm going to put the Christmas through the happy. So ink that up and then at an angle, just so you leave enough room for writing your own message there. Let's see if I can make the rest of this up without getting any more inky finger marks. The more I try not to do it, the more it happens. I hope it just gives you a laugh, if nothing else. Because we do need to laugh, don't we? I just laugh at myself. Yeah, I just say to my family, the fingerprints, so that you know it's definitely from me. There we go. It's just a simple idea. I'm just thinking in the back of another sheet there, just to, so you've not got too many distractions there. So thank you very much for following this series if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and please press the bell icon so that you get notified when i'm coming on again with a well i could be coming on with a complicated idea or the simple stamping so watch out see you next time thank you